overwhelmed border agents bracing for yet another surge of migrants in the coming days. Check this out. There's a brand new video showing thousands of migrants waiting to catch trains to the U.S. The Biden administration is warning most will be removed, but last year only a small fraction of illegal border crossers were deported. Griff Jenkins has the latest from Eagle Pass, Texas. Hi, Griff. Good morning, Dana, and I'm just getting numbers across the entire southwest border, more than 9,000 encounters, and there are nine sectors across the southwest border. Five of the nine had more than 1,000 encounters. Agents are getting overwhelmed from California through Arizona all the way to Texas. Let's go to that train video, though. Fox exclusively getting that from our sources. It was shot about three hours south of here near a town called Monclova. It is the route that the migrants have been using, Dana, for months to get to Eagle Pass, arriving in Piedras Negras, the Mexican town across from me. Those migrants right there, uh, tens of thousands waiting to get on trains already full, should be here later tonight into tomorrow. This as we are already getting a group arriving here now. We can show you some drone footage, though, as we've been catching these large groups, Dana. Remember when we used to talk about a group of 50 to 100 was a big deal? These groups we are shooting on our drone this week are upwards of 500, 600. Some of them 800 in one group yesterday. The one you're looking at now, over 1,000. In the week I've been here, Dana, there were nearly 15,000 migrants illegally crossing. And in the area of the known gotaways, as they see them but don't apprehend them, more than 1,100. We talked to a Mexican journalist named Auden Cabello who gave us insight of the migrants and what they're saying on the Mexican side before they cross into the U.S. And he has an interesting term for what he says is driving all of this, Dana. Listen here. I call it the selfie factor. So as soon as they cross, they take a selfie. They're, they're communicating with their relatives back home saying, I'm already here in the U.S. So that's encouraging more of them to come, regardless of what they're seeing in the news, that migrants are in the streets, like in Chicago or New York. So they cross, Dana, take a selfie, send it back to family or others, put it on social media. It drives more to come. You mentioned those deportations. We're hearing a lot about that on Capitol Hill. I looked at the most recent data available from ICE. In fiscal year 2022, there were 72,177 deported to over 150 countries. But yet in fiscal year 2022, there were 2,378,944 arrivals, illegal crossings. That's only 3%, Dana. 97% were not deported. We'll send it back to you. Right. They just get court dates and wait. It's, it's remarkable. Thank you, Griff.